Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rabbit Land Rescue <laughs> and the walkthrough. So why we're back here is because we're pretty close to maxing out our rabbit. So I'd like to hear uh, some of the dialogue and get a whole bunch of stuff out of this before we get the main prize just to see what they get for now. Welcome to Rabbit Land Rescue, friend! Aren't bunnies just the absolute cutest? Yes, they are, and she has turned a whole new leaf. Looks like my old lady's gonna be here for a while. I mean, I'm glad and all, but things just won't be the same with her around. <laughs> Well, someone's been busy hunting bunnies. Let me reward your hard work with 290 rupees. Yeah, I, 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 I accumulated a lot since I last... Oh, looks like you've managed to catch every variety of rabbit out there. I guess it's time for me to give you that wonderful present I promised. I get a palace dish. Yeah, yeah. Ten adorable bunnies from the grass, too. And another ancient gold piece. You're basically getting random treasures when you get ten of each in every realm, plus one of each individual variety. So this one's from the snow. Another palace dish. Awesomeness. Mountains. Here we go. <laughs> of course, the uh, sea is not complete, but we'll get that soon enough. Oh, we'll get that soon enough. Collect all 50 bunnies for me and I'll give you the neatest present ever! Hey, you don't have a single rabbit! Get back out there and save me some bunnies! Okay, fine, but there's one left. One left. So I started out over here because, uh... uh well, I hope it works out for the two of them. Yes, we should. So yeah, I started out over here because I'd like to get that new series of tracks done finally. You know, exploring them over here at the forest realm that I left here just to collect dust over around that area, so I just thought, eh, I'll drop off the rabbits as well, as long as I'm here. Now, also, uh, I did some tweaking to my map doodles as well, so I should probably show you that. I, I mismarked this one as one, thinking it was like one of the first ones that I got on my first play, but I, I missed, I mean, I marked something else as one, so then I couldn't have this one as one, because, yeah, so I just marked it as seven because it corresponded to this one over here, which I forgot to mark it entirely, and put that over to 7 as well. It doesn't really much matter, because we, we have all the gates memorized anyway, it's just for the sake of quick reference and stuff like that. I also shrunk the game so I could fit it in there, and so now it's GAM. I wonder where I got that from, huh? And I also shrunk the iron over here, I fixed up the four a little bit there. So yeah, we are good to go, I have to say, in terms of our doodles. And, and even with this over here too, I can scribble this out as well. And we'll be able to get the last gate, which is like somewhere around over there someplace. As a matter of fact, I'll just... I'll just put that there with the number eight right away. <laughs> So I'll see you when I reach the new series of tracks right about here. Alright, here we are at the junction. There's a cave. We've taken that path before to get rabbits, but now we're going through here! Oh, excitement! Oh, hopefully there's no Rocktites of death. Oh, jeez! Okay, nothing, nothing. Oh, there's a Rocktite! Oh, jeez! But it's not the big variety. Hey, where'd you... Dang it! <laughs> Does it say, how did you even get away from my shots? And Where'd you go? <laughs> So yeah, we gotta fend them off while we get over to that next arch, so it'll just keep us occupied here. Just keep us busy, and you know, so we don't uh, get too bored along this trip down the new tracks and whatnot. By the way, you'll notice that they only drop down on top of you. Ow. They only drop down on top of you when they're above you, and so if they're like on the ground or anything like that... Oh shoot, that's uh... That came up on me pretty quick. <laughs> I thought it was further up there, well... Well... Okay, hold on, hold on. We're not, we're not, we're not done here just yet. We're, we're hold on. <laughs> oh no! Disaster! Go, go back, go back, back. Okay. <laughs> so, erase this. Yeah, I thought it was further along. That's okay. That's okay. It was more like over here. That will do. And, wait, wait. What am I? Why did I put a nine? Like, I just seen it was an eight. Just, okay. <laughs> Some days, I swear. Alright, let's activate that gate and see where it leads. Actually, you probably know where it leads, because we've been through that before and it's the only one we haven't activated yet. Over at the Fire Realm, over there. Yep. Oh, I forgot to put a mark there too, didn't I? Huh. Huh. Did I- wait, no, no, there's some markings on the map there, just my fat head on the map is blocking it out, isn't it? 
So yeah, I'm gonna put, yep, there's a mark there. So I'm gonna put that eight there, and that is the last of the gates. Yep, we've got them all, guys. 100% gate completion. <laughs> All right, so there's still a little bit of a little bit more tracks I've got to go run through here, so I'll do that really quick. So I just got to do a little doodle there, and I'll also head over to Aboda Village to get the prize that I'll, that I'll get when I have 15 stamps from Nico. That'll be quite interesting to pick up as well, as you'll soon see. But let's just focus on the new foresty tracks here for now, and well. Oh, just keep fanning the smoke out of our uh, out of our faces there. Oh, that's that this this cannot be healthy. <laughs> oh shoot 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 shoot! Oh. Knock it out of the way. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. <laughs> and that appears to be the last of the new tracks. So I'll see you over at Aboda Village. Meow. There we go. All right. So they'll repair my train and I'll get myself some new gear. That's pretty much just aesthetic. <laughs> let's just put it that way. So let's go ahead and say hi to Nico. Hey, Nico, I got more stamps. Great to see your back, Link. Have you been finding lots of good stamps? You collected 19 stamps for me. I'm very impressed, Link. One stamp to go, by the way. I can almost picture all the places you've been. Thank you so much. That's my way of saying things. Please take the set of clothes. <gasps> what? 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 Ah, yes, your engineer's clothes. I think you look much better in these. <laughs> That said, if you don't want to, if you don't want to switch back to your soldier, get up, talk to me. So remember, I said that we, we like, oh man, why, why, why are we wearing those soldier clothes? The engineer clothes are much better. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> so like before, we can also switch our clothes over here at Nico and whatnot. Twenty stamp stations. We know, you know. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So I get change your clothes. Sure. Okay. Woo! And that's what it looks like <laughs> when you switch off. <laughs> so okay, let's do that one more time. Da 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 da. Yes, I would. Da 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 da. Woo! <laughs> and also, if you want to change your shield, I don't know why you'd ever want to change your shield. Select no. And then, uh, oh, I thought you, oh, you must be have to pick it up over here. I thought you had to talk to him to pick it up. Okay, so I guess you changed the shield over there and it wasn't, ah, my mistake. I confused the two. <laughs> That's okay, but yeah, I, I don't see why you'd ever want to change your shield once you get the new shield because it's, it's like, like, invulnerability. And now as long as there's sand here, I just want to see, nah, I didn't think so because this isn't the, the right kind of sand to use this on. It's not that swirly wind-swept sort of sand that you could kick stuff out of the ground with. Yeah, I just thought I would check that. Alright, it's time to go over to the fire realm now and see what those new tracks are over there. And I think I know exactly what warp gate I can use to get there the quickest. Are you thinking maybe the new warp gate that we just got? Why, yes, you would be correct. <laughs> Man, I sure look sweet in these clothes, and I just realized I, I'm not going this way just yet. I forgot I wanted to get the dialogue over here first, over at the trading post where Lineback is. Well, Lineback the third. So I'm gonna stop here really quick, and as long as I'm here, I might as well do some treasure trading to show you how it works and whatnot, because we're gonna be able to get a whole bunch of treasure uh, later on. We unlock the next area. So let's just go ahead and flip flop over to our favorite semi antagonist linebacker. <laughs> ah, hey, there's my little money man. <clears throat> Intrepid treasure hunter. What can Lineback Trading Company help you with? Uh, I thought you were going to give me some dialogue, so I'm going to say nothing. I see. Well, when you get some more treasures, come back to me. Hey, kid, you ever heard of Dark Ore? Yeah, this is the dialogue that I'm looking for. It shines in the dark and melts if sunlight hits it. Strange, eh? Lots of folks are looking for some these days. If you should, you know, stumble across some, save a piece for me. <laughs> so we got ourselves a quest. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can do here with the train cars. We got 
a whole bunch of stuff we can get here. Like, I'm just gonna aim for the golden stuff, though, if at all possible here. Uh, no, still need another Mystic Jade. Nah, can I get the Dragon Car, though? That would be kind of... Like, the, the Dragon Head is pretty epic, too. Uh, no, I cannot. See, this is kind of the trouble with the treasures, is that because they're so randomized, you just don't know what the poop you'll be able to ever get out of these things. Okay, I can get that one, but... That's not, I mean, it's it's a horse chariot, which is kind of cool, and it's got its own animations and stuff like that, but that's not what I really wanted. I wanted the golden. I wanted the golden tickets. <laughs> Can I get anything golden, actually? Uh, nothing gold there. No, 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 nothing gold there. Uh, okay, let's try the freight car, see how that one is. Ah, uh, there we go! I can get that with the Regal Ring, Pearl Necklace, and Mystic Jade. Woo! And now, yes, I would like to. You can change your chain, train cars over at Aboda Village. Uh, you know, with, uh, uh, train... I can't think of his name right now. <laughs> For some reason. Thanks, Skirt. If you find more treasure, you know what to do and who to see. Uh-huh, yeah, I'll, I'll get you that dark ore soon enough, but yeah, so now we've upgraded our train, that means it's gotten more health and stuff like that. If you match train parts of the set, you get even more health, that's why I was looking for the golden ones, and the golden ones are like, the wild cards of sets and stuff like that. <laughs> so, well anyway, you can also, as I showed you before, trade treasures for rupees and whatnot, but I think I'll still hold on to some of these for now. Uh, just, just, yeah, just because I still gotta buy a bunch of stuff from Beetle, and, yeah, and I also like to get the other, like, the special, super special train cars and whatnot, so I'll just, well, um, no, I don't know, I, if I get them, I get them, if I don't, I don't, because it's all randomized and, and whatnot, so it's like, eh, eh, I can't really help with that anyway. <laughs> So just look at the parts list for everything and try and aim for those things, I suppose, in, in terms of where you're getting treasure and whatnot. Anyway, new gate 8 now. Alright, we're passing by the junction that was once only a corner. Now it's a three-way. Behold the new tracks that I knew I was going to go down next part. That's why I didn't even bother marking it on my map. <laughs> So this is leading to a similar area than like where the ends of the Earth station was, only it's like the other part, part of the deserty sort of kind of portion of the Fire Realm corner, but still not quite the same area. It's still not that far out of the ends of the Earth in in terms of I guess comparison, because it's more like the middle close to the ends of the Earth. But in any case, this is where we can get dark ore from. And this is where we're also going to start a new side quest. So let's stop over here and check this place out. It's not that big or anything like that, but let's just see how it is. The dark ore mine! Woo! <laughs> Three holes. Three dangers. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Well, this place is pretty gloomy. Did you hear that? I thought I heard something from that cave. Maybe they have some sort of excavation going on in there. Uh, no, it's the dark ore mine, after all. <laughs> I think I can blow up those rocks using a bomb, too, if I want to do that as well, I do believe. I, I could be wrong about that, though. I don't think I am, though. Uh, no, no. I just want to do it quickly here. No, I guess I can't. Okay. Well, whatever. They can stay there all they want to. <laughs> Let's go into this one first, I suppose. Ooh, so spooky. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Well, this certainly isn't a place we can go into. I have to buy stuff. Or is there? Well, actually, there's the, the, the three entrances basically all lead to the same places. Like, see, this entrance over here is... Uh, this is the middle entrance. This is here's actually a map of this place. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's an awfully difficult map to memorize. There, <laughs> but if you really want to, you can just sort of kind of draw three rooms, connect them with sticks down here, and then a, a line all the way across there. But the place we want to go to is that one there, which is the, yeah, that that's the place we can actually buy the dark ore from. But I just want to show you all the little crevices of this place just because why not <laughs> wait oh maybe this is not oh maybe this is the place you can buy it from maybe it's not the middle one 
I could have been wrong. Hold on, hold on. He's like, this is the Goron Dark Ore Mine for those shoppers in the know. Is this your first time here, dear shopper? Uh, no. Playing it cool is not cool when you're passing up a real opportunity. <laughs> Since you are new here, let me explain. He knew. The Dark Ore Mine here disappears and exposes the sunlight. So we work all day in the dark like this. So I need to go out and get some sun. Dark Ore is 200 rupees. Not right now. <laughs> I just want to uh, get more dialogue here. Dark Ore is very precious. If you're unsure about it, do not buy any just yet. And that I will not do. You're in the way. I'm I'm not in the... How am I in the way? This You're, you're behind the fence. I'm behind the fence on I'm, I'm, my side. Ah, uh, forget it. So this was, this was one that I thought actually was going to be the seller of it. I have not seen you before. Children should not be in a mine. Too dangerous. So I guess you're not the seller. Okay, so I was right about it being in the middle cave. So here we are. <laughs> middle cave. Yes, yes, yes. And oh, wait, wait. That was new dialogue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. You are interested, yes? Dark Wars... 200 rupees. So yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of different dialogue. Uh, yeah, there was something else that I just missed there. I'm gonna go out and go back in. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, see, is the middle cave, obviously. So I can just loop around here and pick up all the rocks that I want and stuff like that. As I said, it's not a very large place to explore or anything like that. It's just, it's just there to be there, and you just go in the middle cave if you really want to speed run your 100% run through the game, I suppose. But since I'm showing every crevice that I can, I'm gonna do just that. Let's see what he says this time. Okay, so yeah, I guess I missed reading off some dialogue. That's okay. I do want to buy some. <laughs> I do want to buy some dark ore though. So it's, it melts when it's exposed to sunlight. So you transport it carefully. So you've got to get that dark ore to line back as quickly as possible. And believe me, I have a plan for that. And she's like, oh, all right, Link, let's get going before all the dark ore melts. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Choo choo. <laughs> So what's my plan, anyway? Well, luckily it involves going straight down the tracks that we still haven't gotten through yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight down through there and to the ocean realm. And you're like, why? Why would you do such a thing? This is... this is preposterous. No one would dare go through there. Well, first off, there's caves over here, which makes it a little bit easier to uh, get, th get the dark ore to your destination. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I had to. Come on. You knew I had to. <laughs> so we gotta make it through here without taking too much damage to lose our dark org. <laughs> so we gotta do our best to shoot this sucker and we've got some henchmen this time in this version of the boss. So yeah, every time we meet up with this bad boy, it's in a different form. Shoot you, shoot you, ah, poopers. Well, I believe I just only need to have like five dark ore, if I recall correctly, to make it. So let's just hope for the best that I make it. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to take care of this bad boy once and for all. <laughs> Oh Jesus, this is getting kind of overwhelming here. Uh, no, 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 no! Ah, poopers, you! No, you cannot do this to me. You cannot. We must defeat you, and we must do it while keeping our dark ore intact as best we can. <laughs> Link, stop it! You must, you must stop handling this thing. You must stop going through caves. I know, I know, but this is this is a part of the challenge. You have to do this for the sake of the walkthrough, because why not? <laughs> okay, we got. We got him good that time. We got him good. <laughs> it could have. It's sort of like a bug, but not quite. Okay, so now its mouth is closed, so we gotta uh, revert to this strategy of blasting it with the barrels. Oh no 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 no! Don't get too close. Don't get. Don't you dare. Okay, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Why haven't we made it out of here yet? Because the cave is infinite until we kill this monstrosity. <laughs> And this is the hardest version of him, by the way. Oh, shoot. Because we've got everything combined. We got the little henchman. We got the big boy. <laughs> so, yeah, this is by far the hardest version of this duder in the game. Yeah, I got it. I got this. I got this. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Woo! <laughs> we did it again! <laughs> 
Uh, actually, I'm not sure if you really need to get to have five to make it to the end of that. I mean, to get the dark ore we, where we need it to go. So yeah, I thought that was just, that was a cave. What if all the little ones grew into things like that? Oh, that's too gross to even think about. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, there's a beetle. Um, I did actually resume from my save file this time. So I could just buy some random stuff from him really quick. But uh, I'm still kind of on the clock here with the, the dark ore there. I don't remember if I need five in specific there. I'm, I thought I needed five, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. You, you, you never didn't really specify. But I took a lot of damage here, so I might have to go back for a second run to get some stuff there. Oh, you have 100 points! Let's buy some treasure. 1,000 rupees, sure. <laughs> remember, I can always sell stuff over the line back to get more. Anyway, so yeah, whatever. Uh, pearl necklace. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Woo, we're getting close to that 500 rupee sales mark there. Uh, oops, no, I didn't mean to. I mean, on the, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see our point total. 230 points. I'm now a silver member. Woo, 10% off all merchandise and a lovely prize. Heck yeah, we get stuff for free. Well, whatever we want for free. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta go check the mail, get that gold membership later on. Yeah, gold will lead to the heart container. So anyway, let's continue on with my... I can't draw a path... Really? I'm too close to the edge of the screen that I can't draw the path? Okay. So, here's my plan to get over to Linebeck as quickly as possible with the Dark Ore. Well, assuming I didn't take as much damage as I did. And that is to go over here, and then go over to this gate over here. So we go over to the gate 5, and then we go over to gate 6, and then that'll take us over to the gate that's over in the forest realm, over on that side. And then we'll be able to just zip on along and take over the Dark Ore to Linebeck. But, you know, I, I burned off a lot of Dark Ore from taking damage there. And I think uh, you can repeat that, I mean, I think that boss battle repeats if you could do that again, you know, if you take Dark, dark Ore through that again. So that's, that's a part of the challenge of the Dark Ore, is that you've got to do it... Uh, you got to aim for going through caves, and you've got to do it without taking too many hits from that boss. So, yeah, it's it's a tricky endeavor. But I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to get some of the Dark Ore to him, uh, however much is he, like, like that he's looking for, but we'll, we'll see how much he wants. And I'll just repeat it if need be. Because I'm going over the line back anyway, and I can just sell treasure to get 200 rupees for Dark Ore anyway. So it's like, eh, eh, not a big deal. You just kind of repeat that and <laughs> see how things go, I suppose. But yeah, if the Dark Ore is exposed to light, it melts just like the ice when it's exposed to heat. Or, um, just basically anything else that is impacted when you take it out of its preferred area, I guess you could say. It's another reskin of stuff that you tote in the back of your uh, train there. And you also notice, uh, since I got the upgrade to our train car there, we're at 5 health instead of 4. So yeah, it is quite handy to uh, in improve the health of your train by getting it yourself some train parts like that. But you never know if you're going to be able to get train parts like as early as you would prefer because, well, the randomization aspect of getting the treasure and whatnot. Like, how you... How are you going to be able to pick which stuff that you want? It's crazy like that. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so I think it's going to end up... I'm going to end up with two by the end of that. Uh, by the time I get it over the line back. Yeah, it's just, it's just how things are rolling. I took too much damage from the Rock Tide of Death. But we'll see if I can do a dash over to there before it gets down to one at the very least. So... We'll see what we can do here. Let's just stop as quickly as possible to maximize our speed. There we go. And now we're going to run, run, and run some more. <laughs> There's our mail, but okay, we don't have time to check the mail. We have Dark Ore. We've got to get that Dark Ore to line back or he will not be a happy camper. Okay, how much do you want? Please tell me you don't want five. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, nothing. Here's the Dark Ore. Uh-huh. Well, what's this? You actually brought me some dark ore! Aha! I'll fork it over then! You are going to give it to me, right? Here you go. <laughs> what's this? This is barely a speck! I'm gonna have to keep an eye on you. I need at least five pieces. Dang it! Come back when you've got them, okay? But don't think I appreci don't appreciate the effort. So here, take this. And wow, that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so you gotta sell something, so... I no, wait, we don't have to sell something, because that was 200 rupees. Oh, yeah, right, right, we got some stuff. <laughs> we're good, we're good. <laughs> Alright, so let's go, in, go ahead and check our mail, and we gotta go back and get some dark ore. My, I do believe repeating the boss battle and hopefully doing better. Yeah, that, that was not one of my, my best runs on the finale of that boss. I should say the hardest version of that boss. But, well, but, well, things happen. <laughs> hey, Adam, mister, I got a letter and package from you for, for you from Beagle Link. Apparently his whole store fits in a hot air balloon. Now, oh, isn't that something? Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Wish I could fly like that. Sure it'd be easy on the old knees. I heard that he won't come down unless you blow your train whistle. So how are you regular folks how are regular folks like us supposed to find this star without a train? Oh, I can see your face by your face. You just want a letter. Sorry, here you go. How do you think I got this letter if I didn't get into the stuff? I never mind. You probably read my letter anyway, and you're just trying to fake it. Oh, and I have this for you. Here's your silver membership card! Woo! Yahoo! 10% off! Happy days! <laughs> okay, we gotta go get some more dark ore, so I'll see you back over when I get some and probably, well, I should say, I can repeat that whole boss dealio going on there. I, I like I can start over at the cave system. Um, hopefully I won't have to defeat the boss again, but I'm almost positive I will have to defeat the boss again, so... Yeah! Not that the boss isn't fun or anything like that, it's just... It's it's dicey when you're trying to take the Dark Ore there, because it, it, it dwindles down. So, next route, I've got to take less damage. Alright, let's try this again here. Uh... Wait, does the boss really not come back? Because if so... This return trip is... yeah, it's just regular little guys. Wow. Wow, okay. Well, I'm not complaining or anything like that, because I... I that, that'll that just pretty much null all the challenge of this. So I guess maybe what I should have done was defeated the boss first, then bought Dark dark Ore, and then went over to Lineback via this path. Because yeah, this is gonna be like nothing now. <laughs> So I guess I'll just cut over until I see you at Lineback, because this is going to be... cakewalked. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Technically, this is still new track that we're looking at here. So maybe I won't cut ahead, because remember, the track goes on infinitely as long as we're fighting the boss? So this is like the regular version of the track, and not the boss version of the track that we see going around there, so... I guess maybe I won't cut ahead until I get out of the cave and... and whatnot. Oh, well... Looks like we're done! <laughs> and that, that little junction that's coming up over here, uh, that leads over to the regular uh, path through the Sand Realm and whatnot, you know, the... the whole second trial of sort dealio that was going on there, so... Don't have to go through that again. Man, what a cakewalk that was! <laughs> I'm still at seven pieces of dark ore, just using those two warps and, you know, no boss attack or anything like that, so... No damage or, or whatnot along the way, and look at that, we're gonna be at six when we reach Lineback, he wants five. So, yeah, as long as I keep up the hustle, I should have no trouble getting five to him, although maybe he just wants three now that I already gave him two, but I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, just gonna give him all that I have anyway, so, just, just to be sure. <laughs> like, let's not go through this again, I, you know, you know, yeah, oh, I, I still forgot to get the mail, didn't I? Whoops, well, that's okay, I'll get it on my way back. Hey, hey, Dark R! Nothing. Dark R. Yes, yes. Fork it over then! You're going to give me yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is more than enough. Thanks, kid. Let me shake your hand. <gasps> A force gem? What? 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 But PK Gam, you said there is 20. Well, <laughs> there is actually a rather funny situation I thought that I would kind of repeat. Remember the Poke Part 2 walkthrough? Where all the guides were saying there is 20 treasure chests, there is 20 treasure chests, but I was like, no, I counted 21. 
the same thing happened with this walkthrough. Everyone was saying that there's 20, but I counted 21 to the Force Gems. So here we are, the actual last Force Gem, baby. Woo! We did it! We did it, Reddit! <laughs> You and me, we're a good team we are. Come back and see me anytime. I shall, like when I need to sell treasure to get stuff. But I'm gonna actually go over to the next location, this part, because I'll be able to cut ahead to the uh, new tracks right away. But first, wait, wait, no, 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 I did get them my mail before. So what is this? Actually, yeah, what is this? Uh, hey, howdy, mister. Hello there, I've got a letter you from here from Kagoron, really? It's quite a name he has. It's hard to pronounce, don't you think? Do you think he's, his friends call him Kagi for short? <laughs> or maybe he goes by Ron instead? Well, maybe, maybe. Sorry, I got lost in the thought there. Here's that letter I promised you. Do 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 do. Here you go! Woo! Alright. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Alright. Woo! So let's see what Kagoron has to say. I don't remember this letter offhand. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't read the silver membership either. Thank you for shopping at Beale's Air Shop. You now have 200 points. Here's your silver card. You can be a 10% to get on all items. You knew this. Save up those points. We hope to see you at the shop again soon, Beetle. So Kagoron, he's like, hey there, little engineer. How's your freight car holding up? Things here have been peaceful, and the mountain is silent. Thanks for all your work. Here's a map I drew as a young Goron. Use it to find some treasure I hid in the dark or mine as a young one. Oh, yeah! Now I remember. Okay, so I gotta go back to the dark or mine later. I cannot remember where I hid it. The hints on the map help, might help you find it, though. Hope to see you soon, Kagoron. So I should probably make a doodle on our map at some point. Uh, I guess I'll do it now before I forget here. So I'll just do a little reminder. Yeah, I, I don't want to... <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to get too close to the edge because it'll make my my stroke disappear. Uh, okay, that'll, that'll do. T-R-E-A for... Well, I'll, I'll do the rest. S-U-R... Yeah! Yeah! So I just... I'll check that out later. For now, let's go over to the new tracks. Would you like to board the train? Yup! Let's be on our way then! So now we're gonna go ahead and go explore the new train tracks, starting from the back right end of the train tracks. So we're gonna go around uh, from the top area, rather than go straight down to the bottom area. Oh man, pirates! Who would have guessed they would have shown up around these parts? Coming up to the new tracks now, so how do you like that little twist that I had with the Force Gem counter to, re to reference the whole Pumpkin Park 2 thing? I thought that would have been a, uh, I thought that would be a pretty fun thing to do, like, because, you know, so many guides are saying 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and I was like, no, I, I counted 21, no, but since a lot of people thought 20, I thought, hmm. Let's just throw them for a loop there, because the actual end number, you know, on the right side of the counter doesn't matter as much as the number on the left that's counting them. So I thought, hmm, let's, let's put in a little twist there. I think that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> so here we go, a new station right here, right now. Let's stop and... Wah! Yeah, if he was good breaking that hard. <laughs> Oh, you don't have anything to say? Uh, oh, I thought you were going to have something. Well, no. Anyway, I am going to stop this part here because it's gone on for quite a while, especially since I had to go get Dark Ore twice. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I explore the Lost at Sea Station. Ooh, spooky sounding.